Now that I'm almost 40 years old, I don't often ask my mother to buy me Cinnamon Toast Crunch. <laughs> now, back in the day when I was a little kid and had zero dollars and zero cents to my name, I would ask my mother for good sugary cereal all the time. But now that I'm grown, well, I got my own money and I got my own car to drive to the grocery store. I'm not so dependent and helpless like I used to be. And it's the same when I'm in a crowd of people. Back when I was a little kid, I, I probably couldn't see what was happening there, so I'd ask my dad, can you pick me up? But now, maybe as you can tell, I'm, I'm not a little kid anymore. I'm six foot and change. Normally, I can see above every head in a crowd, so I don't have to ask my father for that. You know, one of the great things about getting older is that we can help ourselves. We lose our dependence on our parents. We can drive to our friends. We can do our job. We can go grocery shopping. We can see what we need to see. But that same dynamic that we're stronger and bigger and better can actually get in the way of a great prayer life. Yesterday, if you remember our message, we learned that helpless people pray. Jesus gave us these great words from Matthew chapter 18. He said, whoever takes the lowly position of a child is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven. Now, little kids know that they can't, so they ask their parents for help. But maybe if you're a little bit older watching this video, it's easy to think that we can without the help of God. But what mature, great, amazing Christians know is that no matter how old, no matter how rich, no matter how big and how strong we get, we are always constantly dependent on the blessing and goodness of God. Let me give you just one simple example. Let's think of your next conversation. I'm guessing you've had a couple conversations in your life. You talk, you listen. <laughs> then you talk and you listen. You have a cup of coffee, you, you talk to your friends, you talk to your coworkers, you, you talk to your neighbors. But think about this. How many things could go really, really right in your next conversation? And how many things could go really, really wrong? And how much of either of those options are totally out of your control? Like, have you ever had a conversation with a family member that like started good and then somehow spun out of control and voices were raised and feelings were hurt and sin happened and things were tense for the rest of the night? After all those conversations, like things just went off the rails. Or have you had a, ever had a conversation that started normally and ended up spiritually? You're just talking about life, catching up with a neighbor, connecting with a friend, and suddenly God opened a door and <laughs> you're driving home? Like, how, how did that happen? We started talking about God and faith and forgiveness and Jesus, right? Conversations are incredible. They can do amazing things for better or for worse. And that's why, even though you've had a million conversations before, Jesus wants you to know that you are still helpless and you're still dependent. In fact, before we turn on the cameras for this video, I wrote, myself a big note on the top of my script, you are helpless. <laughs> right, Mike, it doesn't matter how many videos you make, the words aren't going to come out right or people won't pay attention or they'll say, I watched it and then they'll move on without taking it to heart. I, I really need God to bless me and to bless you for this conversation to work. And so here's what I want to encourage you to do today. Pray about the stuff you're already good at. Do you know how to lead a meeting at work? You're still helpless. Pray for God's blessing. Do you know how to drive the route from your home to your school? Pray about it. You're still dependent on God's blessing. Have you preached before, taught a classroom with kids before, had a conversation with your own kids before? Listen, that, that next conversation might be off the charts with blessing if God blesses it. So let's remember to never stop being like children with every situation, every conversation, to look up to our Heavenly Father and say, I, I can't, but with your help, I can. Bless me, in Jesus' name. Let's pray. Uh, God, we need you uh, for messages to get through to our friends, to communicate clearly everything. God, we are constantly dependent on you. But we know that you're a good Father. We know that you love to hear the sound of our voice and and you have encouraged us, even commanded us to pray. So hear our prayers, bless us, and use your almighty strength to make this world a better place. 
We pray in Jesus' powerful name. Amen. Did you enjoy this video? Uh, if so, we would love to share even more Jesus with you, even if you have a busy, on-the-go kind of life. Uh, just click here and you can find the audio version for this podcast, along with all the other podcasts that Time of Grace offers.